Hello, Joe here from Infinity of Tacoma. Today I'm going to talk about this awesome 2018 Tesla Model 3 dual motor long range. If you're looking for one of the ultimate EV sedans, uh, this is one to look at. Um, with its dual motors, it gives it all wheel drive and it gives it a little bit extra power. Uh, this one actually has one of these upgrades called uh, Acceleration Boost. This is a $2,000 over the year update. And uh, once you uh, get the over the year update, it enhances acceleration so it, normally I think it's 0 to 60 in about 4.2 4.3 seconds uh, but with the acceleration boost it does 0 to 60 in 3.7 seconds making this very very quick one of the fastest sedans on the road and this isn't even the performance version the performance version I think does 0 to 60 in 3.5 seconds I think the performance version has about another 100 horsepower so it has a little bit more top end power but I can tell you this thing is very quick but also, let's talk about this acceleration boost. Uh, this is kind of one of the realities of uh, Tesla. Um, so if you're looking at Teslas, um, sometimes when uh, you buy features on a Tesla, they don't always transfer to the next owner. This was a uh, trade-in for a brand new Tesla from Tesla Incorporated. Tesla only sells a small amount of used Teslas. They are mostly in the business of selling new cars. So all most of all their off-brand trade-ins and a good majority of their Tesla trade-ins they put for sale on the wholesale market and uh, I've bought a lot of uh, Tesla trades over the years they're great vehicles um, uh, Tesla's sell very well for us but the one thing that we learned is that uh, when you buy a vehicle uh, from Tesla and it transfers ownership sometimes these features might not stay with the vehicle we have another model 3 that did have this acceleration boost upgrade and it did stay with the vehicle when that one transferred over to their corporate account we're still working on transferring this over to our corporate account so hopefully this acceleration boost will stay with the vehicle but just a disclaimer there's a chance that it might not but even without the acceleration boost it's still a very very fast car okay so let's talk about some other things so full self-driving um, this is an earlier model 3 to 2018 um, so this does not have the full self-driving computer. It has the Autopilot 2.5 computer, which works fine for using the Autopilot software, giving you adaptive cruise control and auto steer. Uh, but if you do want to get full self-driving, uh, you can either pay $10,000. Um, and when you pay that $10,000 lump, uh, lump sum for the full self-driving, you'll go to a Tesla uh, service center and they'll pop in a full self-driving capable computer. Um, then we have also the option of doing a subscription for the full self-driving. It's $1.99 a month. In that case, you would have to pay the $1,000, which I think is pretty reasonable uh, for that upgrade to the full self-driving computer. Aside from that, you know, I do a lot of long, drawn-out uh, videos about full self-driving, and obviously these videos are time-sensitive. As of, you know, um, November 2021, full self-driving is still in beta, uh, so it's pretty limited to people that can use it. And it's really not full self-driving uh, where you can't pay attention. It's in beta and it's still level two. So you have to keep your hand on the wheel and you have to pay attention. I think when it gets to the point where it is level four, level five, where you pretty much uh, don't need to pay attention to car is capable of driving on its own, then I think maybe it might be more worth it. But if you have a few extra bucks and you want the latest in you know, tech and features and you're interested in that full self-driving beta software, it might be for you. If you're curious about full self-driving beta and its progress, I recommend uh, some uh, YouTube channels that I watch uh, to see uh, the progress of the full self-driving. Uh, Dirty Tesla is a good one. Tesla owners of Silicon Valley, they do a great job um, demonstrating the beta software and the amazing progress it's making. So everything on the Model 3 is operated through uh, this touchscreen. You can do a few things here uh, with the buttons, but most of the settings and stuff are handled through uh, this screen right here is very intuitive. Um, it's almost like using an iPad. You'll pick it up very fast. Uh, autopilot is great. Uh, autopilot offers auto steer, which keeps you centered in your lane. Um, it's designed mostly for highway use, but um, I can get the autopilot to be used on regular roads. But you have to understand when you're using these systems, you have to be extra vigilant. You have to pay attention. It's not going to stop for uh, red lights. It's not going to stop for stop signs. Um, it does have a forward emergency braking, but basically the adaptive cruise control will only stop if a vehicle is slowing down in front of you. If you do upgrade to the full self-driving, then that's a different story. You do get some more features uh, besides the auto steer. But I think for most people, uh, for stop and go traffic, driving on the highway, the autopilot or the auto steer 
is an amazing program and I think it will satisfy most people's driving needs and it does really a great job battling driver fatigue. All right, I have a tendency to go uh, kind of long on these videos, but I'll make this as fast as possible. So we have a backup camera. Uh, we also have a sentry mode. Sentry mode is a really cool system. Um, so basically, uh, when you uh, own the Tesla, you'll uh, get it on your corporate account and then you'll download the Tesla app for your phone. You can get an Android version or an Apple version. And um, I don't have this one on our corporate account, but this is a very similar, similar vehicle. This is a 2020 Model 3 Standard Range Plus. So we have a sentry mode. So sentry mode will record vandalism and stuff like that um, when you're away from your vehicle. And just as long as you have an internet connection on your phone and the vehicle has an internet connection, it does have a LTE hotspot. You can actually pull up live camera views now, um, which is pretty cool. So if you want to check up on your vehicle, you can do that. Uh, you can be, you know, halfway across the world. Like I said, just as long as you got internet on your phone and the car has a LTE connection, you can access this. You can flash the horns, uh, honk, uh, flash the headlights, honk the horn. You can even talk in a scary robot voice and uh, <laughs> scare some potential vandals or people prowling around your vehicle. You can uh, pull up the location of your vehicle as well. Um, you can set the climate control system. So if you want to turn the climate control on, you can put the heated seats on. You can vent the windows. And uh, it's really amazing. You can buy upgrades. You, you schedule service completely through your mobile app. You can see the current mileage and VIN numbers. Um, it is really amazing. One amazing vehicle, for sure. And you can use your phone as a key as well. So uh, they do have a credit card key. And recently uh, we heard news of uh, Tesla's servers going down, um, which doesn't happen that often, but it did happen for a short amount of time and people were actually locked out of their vehicles using their phone as a key. Um, so it's always good to keep these credit card keys in your wallet as a backup in case something like that happens. So you can still use your vehicle. These are really inexpensive. Uh, you can buy them. We, we have them with the vehicles, but if you want more, uh, $35 for two on the Tesla store, pretty reasonable. Really nice color combination in graphite gray on black. Nice, clean interior. I love the sparse, very minimalist interior. It's a very uh, quiet and comfortable place to be. This one has the upgraded 19 inch wheels. We also put four brand new tires on this Tesla. And uh, the thing you'll notice about EVs is that uh, maintenance is very, very, uh, it's almost non-existent. There's not too much maintenance to do on electric cars. <clears throat> With regenerative braking, you get probably well over 100,000 miles out of your brakes. Uh, most people don't even change brakes in their Teslas because they haven't really been out long enough for a lot of these Teslas to even need brakes, uh, which is amazing. There's no oil changes, no coolant systems to service, no all-wheel drive systems to service, no all-wheel drive differentials. Um, you know, you have no coolant, no spark plugs. I just had to replace a catalytic converter in my uh, O2 Subaru. Uh, that's never gonna be an issue. You're not gonna have to worry about uh, problems with emission control systems. We do have, Issues with uh, emission control systems, uh, catalytic converters can go bad and it, it can be expensive. It can be three or four thousand dollars to replace a catalytic converter in a high-end vehicle. <clears throat> so one of the few maintenance items that you're going to have on this Tesla is tires and wiper blades and the tires are taken care of and the wiper blades are pretty good. <clears throat> Another benefit of uh, the Tesla is without an engine in the front, you have a frunk. Um, and it's not just a utility feature, <coughs> excuse me, just getting over a cold. It's also a safety feature because without an engine up here in a frontal collision, uh, that could possibly push the engine inside the passenger, com passenger compartment. So that's the thing you, have, you won't have to worry about because there's no engine here and the electric motor is a lot, lot smaller <laughs> than the gas engine. It's very small. And then you have a crumple zone that's 60% larger um, than a, a gas-powered vehicle. We have a big you know, engine here uh, that takes up a lot of crumple zone, but without an engine, you have all this space to absorb cross energy. So with the weight of the battery so low in the vehicle, not the, only does that really improve the handling, it makes this sports car-like handling. It's a really fun handling vehicle, but it also gives it a very extremely low rollover risk. Actually, one of the lowest rollover risks out of most any other vehicle on the road. 
And then as far as probability of injury, one of the lowest probability of injury in an accident. And uh, autopilot ad safety. You know, there, there's a lot of, uh, I think, misinformation out there. You know, there's these government investigations and autopilot you see in the news. Oh, autopilot hit a police vehicle. Well, the thing is, is those people aren't supposed to pay attention. If you read the uh, warning uh, information that when you turn autopilot on, it says that you have to, you know, keep an eye on things. You have to, you know, be ready to intervene at any time. It's driver's assistance. And I think those people aren't paying attention. But if you actually look at the statistical data, every year, you know, Tesla improves autopilot and it becomes safer and safer. So I think right now, uh, with Tesla's on the road and there's many, many, you know, I think there's a million Tesla's on the road right now. So there's a lot of data to back this up and don't take my word for it. Do a search yourself. Um, vehicles on autopilot, they're averaging about uh, one accident for every 4 million miles driven. Pretty amazing. So that doesn't sound like a dangerous vehicle to me. Um, and I think the people that are trying to hold this back, you know, could be risking people's lives because I think one accident per every four million drive, uh, miles driven means this, this is a very safe vehicle and this technology could probably save a lot more lives than harm people. So if you want an amazing electric vehicle and maybe not just an amazing <laughs> electric vehicle, but one of the most amazing vehicles in general on the road, Check out this 2018 dual motor long range Tesla Model 3. And talking about long range, uh, EPA rated range on this one is about 300 miles. Thanks for watching this video. Hope to see you soon and have a wonderful day.